Hi everyone, this is wife Lopez from the Lopez Garden and today it's raining! Yay! Um, today is July 25th and I'm doing this video by myself because um, my husband is working and uh, I wanted to take advantage that it was raining and it was perfect light right now and I just wanted to show you that there's eggplants, eggplants everywhere! Well, not really everywhere, but there's one there and then the, that purple part there, that's another one and there's flowers all over the place and then we have the Rosa Bianca as you can see there, that's one and then the other plant right there in the center of the shoot you can see another one and then those little green bulbs, like there's one there and then there's more around like those little flower thingies those are going to become um, the Rosa Bianca uh, eggplant too so right now it's it seems it's getting quite a decent size and we're gonna get more. Last year when we had this plant we only had like one and a half fruit technically so we saved it for seeds. And this year well we're having quite a few. See so like in that plant well we have two plants only and there you have the fruit and this one is another one that's gonna be growing. Hopefully soon there's like another one up there and there's a few around the plant so the black cream is also producing we already harvested one of the tomatoes that we're keeping for seeds and then as you can see there's one there and there's other green tomatoes around the plant not many but it's more than what we could have been expecting um, the A65 is gonna go soon as you can see it's pretty much done um, there are some tomatoes that are ripe, ready to harvest, and some that are still green. But this plant's gonna go probably this weekend, and we're gonna plant there some kale and Swiss chard. I also found that some plants, like the kale, just this one in the shoot, have recovered from cabbage loopers, and that's because husband has been spraying BT around the garden, and that has um, prevented some of the um, cabbage loopers because there's been a lot of cabbage looper butterflies around. So. Hopefully that makes them not eat the leaves and plants like this kale can truly recover. This year we truly thought that um, the blackberry was not going to fruit at all. Um, but it's growing new shoots as you can see here. So probably later in the year we might get some fruit. So we're always hopeful. Unfortunately the thornless looks like it's pretty much gone. You can't, well, you can't really see with just the sticks down there. Um, but who knows, because this plant was pretty much covered and seemed like it was dead um, when we found it under a bush, and then we just let it grow. And you never know when it could just recover. This poblano pepper has pretty much recovered, it's grown a lot. So it's liking this weather, the heat, and plus a little bit of rain that happened today. And then here's the Thai peppers. So husbands say they're too tiny, they're supposed to be bigger, um, and I guess so, but at least you can see the red ones that are almost ready to harvest, and my delicious basil that's growing all over the place, which I'm thankful for because I love to eat it with everything. Um, and there's another take from over here, from this side, from the um, Rosa Bianca eggplant. Ooh, it's starting to rain again. Yay! Um, this plant over here, this is our new addition. This is, a, uh, I think it's a Japanese fig tree, or maybe it's not Japanese, but it's a fig tree. That's for sure, I know that it's a fig tree. Um, one of husband's co-workers was very um, generous, and he gave us this tree. It's a lovely plant, I love the leaves. And then, lastly, but not least, the banana. It looks beautiful with the water all around. It looks like just in its environment. Um, it's growing like crazy and it's growing huge so even husband thought you know what maybe we could get some flowering this year who knows in September it's gonna be a year from when we have this plant so we'll see until the frost or if there's any what happens but it's growing it's one-third of the height of the fence and uh, it's doing great it's looking great and I guess that's it for this video so thank you for watching